hello friends welcome to youtube explore channel today we are going to learn about the product being sold in the month of april and how how much was the sale return in that particular month the main significant thing in this formula is we will be able to use three formula in a simple way to understand the scenario of specific product being sold n number of times and how much was the sale return against it as well so here is the first formula you can see in the i4 the formula is being put k4 where the product name is being named then i started with n and count a formula bracket then lock the k4 the product name colon k4 the product name comma k4 the product name this will let me know the product number product name how many times it comes in the month of april so you can see here burger is being sold only once bread has come three times so bread is the highest quantity being sold in the month of april similarly fries it comes three times so now this will help me to use the VLOOKUP formula that how many times I sold one product or not. If I use this list and wanted to know about the price, on what date price are, were being sold, what was the quantity, what was the price and the amount being received from the consumer as well. Similarly, I'll be able to know how many times the specific product is being returned by the consumer what was the quantity what is the price at that, at that time and the amount being paid to the consumer as well so let's start the formula here <clears throat> but before that you have to assume the se sequence that just assume that i sold price five times in a month just put it here in a co single column and you can use data validation to make a list of this product names then we'll let me start the formula the formula is very simple it's equal to if error then bracket start value the value is where the list is being represented so i can use this p3 and the times that product is being sold like i said before we have to assume then comma and we have go to i3 2 and 13 to cover all the prospects of the co different columns of the products comma in which column product date it is so we have to start from here not from date so this is the first column and this is the second column so date is in the second column comma false bracket close comma two inverted commas bracket close and enter you will get the exact date of the product according to the sequence wise similarly we put the same formula for product name you just have to change the column number earlier the date column was second and now the product column is three similarly for quantity the column is four similarly for price it's five and total amount is six the formula is same you just have to change the column number but make sure you just have to use the formula in a right way so you can get the right value at right time if i have to check the value of cold drinks cold drinks only being sold for once that is on 6th april and here combo combo was sold on 7th april now let me go for fries the fries were sold three times in a month of april on different dates and what was the product name quantity price total amount Similarly, we can do it for the sale return as well. I'll be able to know that fries were so returned on 3rd April with the amount, quantity, price, etc. 
so this is how we will be able to know if you are selling your product as a retailer as a shopkeeper as a simple person going door to door service you can make your database here in access spreadsheet or you can hire somebody who can help you out to understand the scenario of your sale in a month and sale return in a month similarly you can use it for the purchase as, as well because you have to purchase the raw material too i hope you like the video please like and share